Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. I am Anki. So in this session, uh, we will learn a practical scenario that uh, I actually faced in our one of uh, my project that uh, client's requirement was that uh, we want any particular component or element or any pop-up that uh, should be resizable. So based uh, so so that uh, user can resize particular pop-up. Uh, based on based on the uh, particular size of their uh, screen uh, whatever the size he want to make uh, short and long uh, according to that so in so in this session uh, we will see how we can make any component resizable so we can we can change the size of that particular element so let's see so first of all we will create a, a in project uh, so we will create using npm npx create create white at the rate latest and then resizable element app So it will ask. It is asking for uh, which template uh, for uh, which type of application. So I am selecting with using arrow key. I am selecting React. So I am using with the TypeScript. So I am entering it. So application has been created. Now I will open it. inside the VS code so opening it with using code mm, so here you can see that the application been created uh, which having the default port first of all uh, we will install our all the dependencies so here we will not use uh, any particular third uh, third party library we will make it using our uh, existing css classes right css properties we will use here npm install oh sorry npm i npm install Now we will do npm run dev. So you can see that our application is up and running. So now we will do our changes. I will remove everything from this component. Okay. So now I will create a new component and that is resizable element dot tsx with using typescript constant resizable element
export default resizable element now suppose uh, we want to make a div as resizable okay so i am giving some inline style to it background color okay so i will import i i will use it resizable element you can see here automatically imported so here so i have uh, do nothing i have uh, simply created a one element one component inside it i have created one div and give the in, in line style over it so here you can see but uh, uh, this uh, element is not uh, the resizable okay this component is not resizable okay so i want to make it so how you can make it so we have uh, we have to create uh, define the some css over it okay so suppose uh, inside it uh, i have created one more file uh, resizable element dot css right so i am creating one class for it resize element so here i will write some property overflow auto resize both and position relative so here i will import that particular css class i will import that resizable element dot css here i will give the class name class name will be resizable element so here uh, you can see here that uh, we have the resize element icon for double arrow so you can make it okay suppose uh, in the last session uh, we discuss uh, to create element uh, that uh, draggable element or whatever which element you want to uh, you can def need draggable so if you not watch that video so please watch that video also that is also helpful so here if we want to make any particular <laughs> heading 
as resizable you can make it right so here you can see that we can make it resizable so any type of element you can make it so here now i am installing the react draggable so we make it uh, draggable also npm install react hyphen draggable okay so here in the package.json you can see dependency has been added so import draggable from react draggable so i am creating draggable resizable element i am renaming it so it will automatically so uh, so i tell you uh, what whatever element you want to draggable you have to uh, inside we you have to put it inside the draggable suppose uh, for this div i want to make it draggable also with uh, resizable too okay so here in the app tsx we can give any name yeah and we can use here same so you can see uh, this is not uh, draggable h1 but uh, here div is uh, draggable and resizable both but he here is drawback if you use the resizable and draggable use both so you cannot uh, resize it so that uh, that resizable thing is not uh, usable with the draggable thing draggable is working perfectly fine but uh, the resizable is not working here properly because uh, it also doing the draggable things over there so it, it is overwriting it uh, the functionality that's why it is not uh, resizing it okay no issue uh, we will uh, we will discuss it in later videos how we can make uh, our element draggable with resizable okay so uh, i hope uh, you like this video for resizable any particular element so you can make uh, if you want to h1 also uh, we also see saw that one so problem is that uh, we because uh, uh, if we uh, try to resize it uh, the drag functionality is also working so simultaneously uh, draggable uh, overriding over the resize element so that's why it is not working suppose if we do here resizable here the class name is not defined right so here you can see that the different properties drag and drop stop you can override it allow any click right uh, on drag or stop on start whatever you customize is you can customize it so later video we will see 
how we can implement the draggable with resizable alley component okay so that's it so uh, that is the component uh, for the draggable for the resizable so we, we have uh, created a one css class resize element and define overflow auto resize both and position equal to relative so we have created one div inside it we class name defined with the resize element so we can we can reside reside it with using overflow property we have here scroll bars also it will be not work with uh, draggable okay so we will see the, the demo in the later videos so uh, i hope you like the video if you like the video please subscribe my channel if you not done till now please click on the bell icon also so that the new uh, video notification you will get and uh, you can check it so if you like this video please uh, share share this video to your friend circle group so that he can also make uh, this advantage of a free video tutorial series and uh, keep learning and take care bye bye